playing Arcade Sunday. Today we're going to talk about a game that's very old but very fun. It's Phoenix, distributed by Century in 1980. Enjoy the video. Welcome to Arcade Sunday. Let's play a game of a classic, classic 1980 game, Phoenix. I haven't played this uh, for a little while, um, so let us try using a single coin or a single credit to see uh, how we can do in Phoenix. Uh, great game, great game. Um, I actually played this on the Atari 2600 and that was a, a really, really amazing port of the game. In fact, that was a very, very fun, very, very fun version of the game. Okay, all you've got in this game is fire and a shield that doesn't last very long. Get stuck in the corner and just uh, use a shield. It's all unclear as to how many shields you've actually got. But, um, how's that planet? Okay, took longer than uh, it should have. There's uh, really just five levels that just loop a uh, very uh, simple strategy, especially back in the day. It's just the way this game uh, plays and progresses is um, very cool for a very older game. Very much older game, should I say. Um, these guys you can actually shoot the wings off of. Or you can just shoot straight in the middle if you if you can. Quite fast enemies and a little bit erratic. Um, I'd say I'd compare this game to like Galaxian uh, for how it plays. A sort of, uh, little bit slow paced. Uh, the enemies are fast basically, so you kind of got to be pretty understanding of uh, where the enemies are coming from, how to attack them. I'm Pretty much missing them all the time, but uh, wait for them to come down a bit. Take a lucky shot there. Use a shield. Okay, lucky shot. Okay, so here is the final stage of five. And really, what you want to do is shoot out the core of that uh, mothership, uh, which uh, is very, 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 very cool theme. It's like real, real, real 80s space theme. This like motherships and aliens and very, very cool theme. Uh, so, ah, just button by accident. Okay, yeah, just maybe make yourself a hole through that shield, and then when there's a gap, there we go. So we run through the little hole that you create it yourself, and uh, yeah, straight through. It's so, straight forward. Oh dear. I have a feeling that the camera stand is resting on top of the control, on top of the cabinet here. Shouldn't be. Look at this. Oh, these guys hiding underneath me. Try and dispatch all the enemies as far as possible. And, uh, oh, no, I know. That wasn't good. Let's uh, try again. Oh, well, of course, I finished the stage here. Wee, I was close. Come here. Okay. Back to the third stage, we used to call it the eggs, floating eggs stage, uh, sort of hatched into birds, that's how we imagined it, uh, on the 2600 anyway, um, I suppose what else is it, I don't know, come on guys, Oy! I'm actually moving mad fast right now, gotcha, I suppose the idea is to Destroy as many of those eggs before they hatch per se. Uh, so 
didn't really do that very well that time. Uh, okay, so time for a shield, eventually. We go back into eggs, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you... Oh, that was silly. Okay, let's just try... Yeah, they're really, really quick now. Oh, well. Oh, just didn't push it at the time. That's game over. But uh, a great example of a very uh, simple to play, uh, but very solid, classic shoot em up. Uh, if you've never played this, give it a go. Um, if you haven't played the 2600 version, give that a go. It's also a very, very good, very good uh, conversion of this game for the home market. And just like that, Arcade Sunday out. Cheers for now.